Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brizzy Wright, Ace Attorney. This is Simon. Nothing. <laughs> Colon. Nothing. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> MD. Just here. <laughs> um, welcome back to Phoenix Wright. It's been a hot fucking minute. It has been. It's been a busy end of the year, but you know what? We're back, and that's all that matters. Middle end of Yeah. It's been a busy year. It has been a busy year, but we're back, so... Let's jump in. I kind of forgot what we were doing. Oh, I, I didn't even kind of. Not going to lie. Totally forgotten. But I remember that's far enough, Phoenix, right? Did you remember it or you read it? I read it right now. So I don't even remember any voices I was doing or nothing. So that's enough, I, Phoenix, I think you right? had him being British. Probably. I don't know. What? Irk. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. How did you forget about Edgeworth? <laughs> I forgot about that other man. <laughs> I forgot about the other attorney in the room. Okay. Mr. White. That's not how you say my name. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? Uh, what? I feel like I was doing something I with think him. you were. But I said you should confess your crime. I hit that man. Ergo... Confess that you placed the wiretap. Uh, objection? Leading the witness? <laughs> the the wiretap? <laughs> Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. Your... Your Honor. The question is, when was the wiretight man taken in the office? And by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? He's turned into a uh, Pegasus from <laughs> Yugi Boy. <laughs> correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes. In order to place the wiretap, I breached Faye and Cola offices. Please don't say it like that. What? What? Breached? Yeah. <laughs> that is when I saw that accursed light stand. Wow, 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 Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made the position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright, would you believe that Mr. White... Or thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. Hi, Maymay. Hi, Kitty. Right. <laughs> However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been in that office well before the murder took place. Kitty. He Kitty, don't walk on the microphone. He went to place the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Bye. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture. It is. <laughs> Leave it to me. Uh, <laughs> Leave it to me. I... I feel faint. Someone get the smelling salts. <laughs> it was the beginning of September. Do you remember? No. <laughs> the week before the murder. I had entered Faye and Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is, when I saw this glass light stand. Mm, 
probably five gets bad, but five but not a big for that. And big for that, but five but five and five. But the sound? It's like he's turning into the Donald Duck impressions of the Donald Duck impressions of the McElroy's minus the horror. Chris <laughs> Craig! <laughs> You're turning into the Travis. I like Travis's uh, interpretation of Uncle Scrooge because just uh, like, it's not even like close. He He's sounds just like, like one of the. Uh, he sounds more like one of the triplets. Just trying to clear his throat. <laughs> Correct. That is right. That's true. I see. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Thanks. Could you bring your big boob sister in? She kind of is a little bit more helpful. Appreciate the good luck, though. It was the beginning of September, week before the murder. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh. Right. Yeah, I meant proof of what day he did it. Yeah. Come on, Edward. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. They were unidentified then. Why not just fingerprint Mr. White? Yeah. Or, like, he probably knows... Well, he's saying yeah. that right now. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. He was just conveniently not bringing it up. It's, I mean, it's Edgeworth. It's it's uh, early Edgeworth. Yep. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. law offices. Why you breached them. Mm. The fuck? The heck was that noise? I think it was Kristoff getting up on a table. Something in our house did a thunk. Uh, to price the wiretap. Why did you tap me as phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Uh, it's kind of a big deal? Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. How about a lawyer, law officer's confidentiality? Yeah, or how about, you know, it's fucking illegal to tap. Anyway. Oh, I saw the glass light stand. Uh, why did you notice something as innocuous? Is that how you say that? Innocuous? Innocuous? I don't know. Words that Simon does not know. <laughs> as a light stand. The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. I thought he was saying he didn't like it. Such a beautiful thing deserves attention, does it not? Stop picking up words. That is all. Damn it. Ooh, they got a damn it in here. But with two N's, so oh. it's not bad. It does that. It's just why it's PG-13, because yeah, there's a damn it, it but with two damn. M's. I think this one's actually just PG, or like, or rated the second one up. Not P It's not PG, because it's not a movie, but I can't think of what it is. E for everyone. Yeah, next one up above, above that. Anyway. There's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh, well. Maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's... Let's look at our evidence. We've got... When... Uh, can you check and see when the message that... This? Yeah. September... Well, nope. The beginning of September. Yeah. That is correct. Uh, glass shards... Broken piano recognition. That the wiretap it was found in Miss May's hotel room. The Maya. Did you check on that now. Department store receipt. Uh, the victim dodged an attack and went to the right, but then was caught and struck. That doesn't really help. And the floor plans. Uh, okay, let's check that. I have no idea. Okay. Uh. Oops. <laughs> no, did okay. <laughs> Fucking, I didn't mean to hit that. I didn't mean to hit that. This evidence clearly <laughs> reveals the contradictions. No, no, no. I didn't mean to hit it. I was trying to go back. No, no, no. 
I'm sorry. Now I have to take a stupid penalty. My bad. Okay, I was just trying to go through the, like the statements. And entered it. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Oh, wait, that was it. Oops. Okay. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Are we gonna get a guilty? The time has come for you to admit your defeat. Or Mia's gonna come save our asses. You fought honorably. Le bow. No more. I can't take this anymore. I quit. Mr. Wright? I will get you up. Yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Huh? Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. Mia? It is when Mia comes to save us. Never like give up, Phoenix. Nobody notices. I know, right? Like, uh, did you get taller, older, and bigger breasted, or is it just me? You look oddly like the murder victim. I like how Phoenix, for a short minute, literally thinks he's going insane, though. M Mia? Nope, there he goes. <laughs> he's down. Where, where am I? Our dog's doing a tip a tap. The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. <laughs> That'll do it. Ah, I'm still hallucinating. <laughs> ah, you're finally awake. Gak. <laughs> 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 Just passes out again. <laughs> hey, Phoenix. Gak. <laughs> Greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. No, you're a ghost. You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears it was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia. That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. How about you tell me who murdered you? But... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court records, right? Um... Oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, right, White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front. It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item, glass light stand. Oh, I get it. Data purchase, September 4th. How did you not know that that glass thing in your boss's office wasn't there until the day before the murder? Why would you spend $1,000 on it? I, you know what? It's her money. She can spend it how she wants. That's true. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, what <a> wacky! <laughs> now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Well, it was a sentence, but whatever. He said he saw the stand uh -huh. the week before that the murder. Oh, just kidding. Well, you already said it. <laughs> Phoenix is just feeling extra <laughs> femmy for that line. <laughs> He was channeling uh, red, white. <laughs> yeah, they're all channeling each other. There you go. Pat, pat. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know what? You're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. 
Receipt updated in the court record. Why did this idiot, who's a big timey lawyer, well, I mean. Not a big, not yet, but going to be. Like, not even think, turn over receipt. Turn over paper. Not good storytelling. Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. With a guilty verdict. <laughs> Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Why does Miles want to get us, like, put in jail? Maybe. Possibly with a death penalty. He hates criminals with an almost unhuman passion. Mm. Buy him. Your Honor. Please, give me one more chance. Take a chance on me. I promise, this is the last time I'll ask you. Take a chance on for me. For this case. Mm. When doesn't the smug bitch? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Take a chance on him. <laughs> All right, my good bitch. Let's do this. Yeah, we don't. We know right where to go. You mean in September week before the murder? I had entered the Fanco. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glight last glass. So light. do you present there, or do you present at the uh, the week before the murder? Oh, I guess it could be that one, too. We can go back to that one. It's one of the two. It's hard to know sometimes. It was out. Oop, music stopped. Look closely at this. Really savor it. See the word Maya written in blood? Lick it. Taste it. What does it taste like? Definitely Mia's blood. What does it smell like? Mia's blood. What? <laughs> 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 You're grasping. That's how he laughs, by the way. Is it? <laughs> I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt, dipshit. The, the uh, other side? All lawyers are just completely I idiots it, and don't think to look over It has a two sides? Your honor. Would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? The rest of the court will never fucking understand. A glass person? A medallion with a person? My best friend, if I'm a member. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fay and Co. law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Someone's having a mental breakdown. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. Uh-oh. He's losing it. What little of it he had. Yeah. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. Why did he, like, emphasize that? But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Bye. Then I'm involved in the pile of... Not so fast, Phoenix. Right. Oh no, here comes the music. Huh? What? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh wait. I forgot. It's Edgeworth. Damn. That was cold. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that, proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. <laughs> Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into the matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? 
This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object. Wait and see what happens. Yeah, we're gonna fucking object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong the trial any further. Hmm. Bad, 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 bad. If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a date to ascertain whether your claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. Like, the died. What? The completion was required by this requisite fact we will use completely better. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is sure to come up with, or just make up, something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all... <laughs> Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, let me play your time. Yeah. The witness will stay. D Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Okay. Your Honor, if I may. She says, like, I eat big dicks. <laughs> God, God, she's so good, Phoenix. <laughs> You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. My badge. <laughs> A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Take, that. Take it. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Please! Stop! Make him stop! How... How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. No I, ravels. I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. That's like not that that that, that in a real court of law that wouldn't work. You can't like you can't blackmail yeah, someone you, into you can't coerce someone into to, a confession. Yeah, case closed, Your Honor. But I mean, it's not like anything else in this thing is fucking fair. So <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix, I love him. <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. <laughs> Not guilty. Back to the the cut is dead. September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Uno. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again, but congratulations! <laughs> I never thought you'd win another case. <laughs> You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. It's awkward. Hmm. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Every time you're kind of in trouble. <laughs> Chief. Anytime you're stuck in a puzzle. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm not chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say, nine o'clock. Why did you say it like that? 
the office? I'll see you later. Uh, Chief. Mia. Yeah, actually, that's weird, because I just realized that, like, Maya's body is only, like, 16. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> no. Yuck. Even if it, she's channeling a, a much older woman. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Who am I? <gasps> huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? I know. Mia? <laughs> you should see your face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. <laughs> Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm. I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better but me? Maya Fay, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to business. Too casual. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia says what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know what this means. We're partners. You know, when I think about it, this sucks. <laughs> it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Bright and co law offices. It's got a good ring to it. How, who's the co? Maya? Yeah. Charlie yeah. the plant? Thanks, Maya. Thanks a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> Blah. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here. Watching. <laughs> Every <Awkward>. step <laughs> you take. <laughs> I'll always be here. Watching. She likes to watch. No wonder he's making that face. Right. Okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint down the, just down the street. Come on. Time's a wasting. Uh, okay, wait up. The end. There was no more Phoenix right. Son of a bitch, there was more Phoenix Wright. Oh, yes, the fucking turnabout samurai. That's a good one. Anyway, this seems like an appropriate time to go ahead and call it the end of an episode rather than get one minute into the next case. Uh, so, if you enjoyed this series, and why would you not be, uh, make sure that you do subscribe so as we put new pieces of it out, you guys will be the first to know about them. If you liked the video, go ahead and like the video and check out the link to the copy below. But until next time, objection! Bye. There was comedic gold in that other one. Yeah, like all the funny jokes I made. Mm-hmm. Okay, um... Now the world will never see them. Good. <laughs> <laughs>